the hemp industry is <coughs> adding a whole other layer of complexity um, to what people have to keep track of. Because um, yeah, you've you've got you've got a medical program, you've got a recreational program or adult use program, and then you now also have hemp um, and all the CBD stuff coming from that. And each of these is regulated slightly differently, and the products like you know dispensaries even have unique you know, potency limits for medical versus, um, adult use and that sort of thing. So it's, it is a lot to, to juggle. And that's one of my concerns is that, um, the consumer education is not there. And there are, there are a lot of companies that are claiming to do education, but, um, not many of those are doing quality education um, and it seems like a marketing game more than anything. It does seem like the education is driven by marketing um, and trying to lead you, like marketing does, lead you to certain directions based on those educational tools or whatever you want to call them. Right. But it's true. Um, and we've cut through a lot of that hype, I think. But it's a, it's a continuous thing. Oh yeah, and there's I mean, new stuff that comes up <laughs> constantly. And it, it's not it's to the point now where if you do go into a Walgreens or I was in Safeway last night and you're looking at this stuff and it's in packaging, you can't even decipher the packaging or trust the packaging. Uh you know, there's just <laughs> it's not like going buying a bottle of ranch, you know? It's unfortunately Yeah. And you can think you're buying a good brand. Yep. It could be just fancy packaging. Um, a lot of stuff going on, and uh, and it's all happening in just two, three years. Right, yeah. Um, so, and like you said about the rec and medical, you know, thank God for rec, in my opinion, thank God for rec, because there are a lot of medical people using rec as medical, and, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of people that fix headaches by buying Advil, and they don't need a prescription for that. Mm -hmm. But without that ability to go down to Walmart real quick and buy some, some right. Advil to get rid of that bad headache, I mean, you know, that sucked to have to wait for a doctor and... Get a prescription and, oh, and it's kind of expensive too i mean mm -hmm. it cost you uh like a card itself is like 250 300 dollars yep. and then you have to pay for a you know whatever it costs for you to get your doctor's visit mm -hmm. um, that's assuming you have records and exactly assuming so if you, you don't have, have records, records they have to this sounds wrong but you have to create records so they have to basically say okay what's going on what's going with your health and let's right. see you've how you've got to yeah. have some you've got to build some kind of, yes exactly yeah. so that could cost you and then uh after that uh, you got to have it at your residence because if you want to have it off your residence right. you got to pay for yeah, more your yep <laughs> so it, it's not cheap you're right and uh because of rec we can use it medically um, medical i think in the past because the black market, I think, had some influence on keeping us as a tight community. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you were with other fellow cannabis consumers in the black market, you, I mean, you watched each other's back. You didn't, you know, you were, didn't say things around certain people and you had the clues and you had the words and you, it was his own culture and it kept us tight. Growers and medical patients at that time were really working together real well medical patients really needed the, the the grower and the grower really needed the medical patients. And now that's kind of just gone bad. It's gotten to the point because of this market that growers don't necessarily need, you know, mm -hmm. uh, patients. And so they've kind of screwed some of them over in various yeah. ways and then vice versa. Patients don't necessarily need growers. And so they've started to, you know, kind of abuse their rights right? and it's caused friction. And so now it's, yeah. Thank God for the rec market. <laughs> <laughs>